Six days after the successful soft landing of India's Chandrayaan-3 on August 23rd, for the first time ever in the history of wild space science, ISRO's Chandrayaan-3 has profiled the soil of the South Pole of the Moon. The Indian Space Agency, after profiling the temperature of lunar soil around the South Pole, issued a statement saying that the Pragrayan rover on board the Vikram lander has confirmed the presence of sulfur on the lunar surface near the South Pole. Allow me to quote ISRO's exact statement. It says, laser-induced breakdown spectroscope instrument on board the rover unambiguously confirms the presence of sulfur in the lunar surface near the South Pole through first ever in situ measurements. ISRO's announcement signifies a significant push in our understanding of the moon's composition and its geological history. Remember, utilizing the Pragrayan rover as part of the Chandrayaan-3 mission, ISRO has embarked on a journey to unravel mysteries hidden beneath the lunar terrain. The discovery of sulfur might just be the first. Moreover, ISRO also shared information about the variation of the moon's soil temperature at various depths. The temperatures range from minus 10 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. The surface temperature is around 50 degrees Celsius and 8 centimeters down, the temperature is minus 10. And for more on this, our senior correspondent Siddharth MP has sent us this report from Chennai. The Indian Space Agency ISRO has shared the progress of the laser-induced breakdown spectrometer instrument on board the Chandrayaan-3 probe. ISRO has said that the LIBS has unambiguously detected sulfur near the lunar landing site of Chandrayaan-3. So basically, sulfur holds potential for future construction on the lunar surface. We understand from NASA's documents that sulfur holds the potential. Of course, we don't know yet in what form sulfur has been detected, but sulfur holds the potential for being bound and processed with lunar soil and, uh, you know, being processed further to derive bricks that can potentially be used to construct settlements on the lunar surface. So this is, of course, a possibility. In addition to this, there are also other elements that are detected. They include calcium they include silicon they include aluminium they include um, iron so these are different elements at least seven elements that have been discovered there and of course oxygen's presence has also been uh, detected by the uh, LIBS this is a probe that actually fires a laser beam onto the lunar soil and thereafter the plasma emitted from that is studied uh, based on the light waves that they emit and then a computer actually detects as to what these light waves are and each of these elements are identified based on a preset um, you know information that they have we also have to remember that this is just a preliminary finding much more needs to be done and also ISRO has said that the hunt for oxygen is on it's crucial that oxygen and hydrogen are both available because oxygen and hydrogen when processed and supercooled can be used as potential rocket fuels or cryogenic rocket fuels from chennai siddharth mp we on world is one we on is now available in your country download the app now and get all the news on the move